Hello, my name is Jim German, and welcome to today's episode of Kilimanjaro. Today we're going to be looking at DeWalt's DW317 Jigsaw. This is the 317K version, which gives you this nice box, the spray paint's an optional extra, the, the jigsaw, and a couple of blades. First, let's throw up the spec sheet and take a look at some of the specs on the jigsaw. It's a 5.5 amp motor, which for the jigsaws is a little bit underpowered compared to some of the other ones at this price point. Some of the other ones are six or six and a half amps. It really doesn't make a difference. It still has plenty of power to make all the cuts you need. It cuts at 3,100 strokes per minute, which is the same as pretty much every jigsaw that's on the market. And it has a one inch stroke, which is also pretty much the same. It's DeWalt's lower end model, so it doesn't have some of the features like a dust blower. Uh, it doesn't have any lights around the front of the jigsaw and it doesn't have any dust collection. It also doesn't have any shoes that go over the top of this. It does appear that they, DeWalt had originally planned to make some shoes for it. There's two screw holes in the base of it, but there are no optional accessories that you could get to put one over here. However, it's not really a big deal if you ever need a non-mooring uh, shoe, you can always just put some tape on the bottom of it, and I've had success using that without mooring the surface of a nice piece of wood. So if we take a minute to look at the case, the case is pretty nice. It's got room up here for the manual. The jigsaw slips into it nicely right here. It's pretty obvious where it goes. Then, And there's plenty of room for a blade on your jigsaw, which is really nice. I hate it when you have to take out the blade to put the uh, tool away. The only problem with this, and it's true for most cases like this, there's not really a good spot to put the cord. If you curl it up nice, it fits over here and you can kind of sh shut it, but there's no real easy way to put it in there. It fits nicely in here, not so much because it's a particularly well-designed case, but DeWalt uses the same standard case for all their different products, and this jigsaw happens just to be a little bit smaller, so it happens to have a lot of room in here. Let's take a look at some of the features of the jigsaw itself. On the bottom here, there's this stamped metal shoe. It's not machined, it's stamped, so that means that the surface may not be as flat as you might like. However, because it's stamped, the edges are all curled up, so there's no possibility of a burr or anything like that catching on your workpiece as you're going along. All the surfaces are nicely rounded. The jigsaw has orbital action here, which is easy to adjust with this little lever here. It's got three different settings. I have it set for the slowest speed with no orbital action. Let's see how that is. And then again with full orbital action. So you can see that the blade moves forward in an orbital path when it's cutting on, with the orbital action, resulting in a faster cut, but a rougher cut. Up front there's the blade guide right here. This keeps the blade aligned and keeps it going straight forward. However, it doesn't really do the best job. Sometimes if you're making a tight radius cut, the blade will pop out of the guide and then it kind of goes wherever it feels like. It also doesn't do a particularly good job keeping the blade vertical. I'll show that in a minute, but sometimes when you go to make a cut, the blade isn't at 90 degrees to your surface. I do really like the blade changing mechanism. You just pull up on this lever here and the blade slides right in. This jigsaw uses the T-type blades that have a little uh, T on them right here, which are very common. They're easy to find. The blades stay nice and securely. They're quick and easy to do, and when you're all finished, you can just pull on it and the blade falls right out. Very nice and easy. Up top, you'll see that the DeWalt has a very nice big trigger. It's very easy to use, very comfortable. It doesn't hurt your hand, doesn't ever pinch. It's got a little knob here you can use to adjust the speed. Not the easiest thing to get to, but it's, it's there if you need it. You can also hold this down and then push this little button here, and that locks it in place and locks it in the on position. One thing I do like about this jigsaw is this housing up here that houses the mechanism that makes the blade go up and down, has all the gears and stuff in it. It's made of metal, so it's gonna be nice and sturdy and it's gonna last a long time. It also is much better for dissipating the heat that those gears generate. I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick cut through a piece of half inch plywood so you guys can see how well it works, how noisy it is. Uh, one thing to be careful whenever you're using a jigsaw is that you wear your safety glasses. Most blades on a jigsaw cut on the upstroke. This pulls the piece of wood into the shoe so it keeps it nice and steady, however it does throw the chips right in your face. You can get some blades that cut on the downstroke for if you're going to cut a piece of laminate, a couple other specialty tools, but in general it'll cut in the upstroke. So let's go ahead and make that cut. So you can see it cut nice and fast. It's got a very nice sharp brand new blade. It's one of the fast cut blades that comes with the kit. I also had the orbital set to zero, so even with that, it still cuts nice and quickly. I'll make another cut with the orbital set to four just so you can see the difference. See here with the orbital set to four, there was a lot more tear out on this piece. This piece it was set to zero, there's still some tear out, but it's somewhat less. 
Now cut something that's a little bit more substantial. This is an inch thick piece of maple. I've got the orbital set to zero again. I'll do one cut at zero and one cut at four so you can see the difference. So you can see I applied about the same amount of force making each of those cuts. This cut's much rougher, but it went much faster. This cut's much smoother. It's a pretty nice cut actually, but it took a little bit longer. I've switched out a blade now for a longer blade so I can cut this two by three here. This is just a Bosch blade, it's just a regular aftermarket blade, nothing special about it, just happened to be Bosch. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully cut this and show you some of the ability that the, the blade tends to bend when you cut a long board like this and your cut won't be perpendicular to the face here. When I put my speed square on here, you can see that this is not a perfect 90 degree cut. That blade guide that I mentioned is not doing a sufficient job supporting the blade and keeping it perfectly perpendicular to the shoe. One last feature of the jigsaw is that the base is adjustable by 45 degrees in either direction. It's not a toolless design, it needs a screwdriver to go in this little screw here. You loosen that up and then you can just twist the base in either direction by up to 45 degrees. There's a detent at zero degrees, but it is a little bit hard to get it in there, so sometimes you'll put it back to zero degrees and you'll think you're there and it won't actually be there, so it's a little bit difficult to use. The DeWalt DW317K Jigsaw Kit retails for about $100 and is widely available from Lowe's, Home Depot, or other, other any similar store. DeWalt makes a more expensive version, it's $150, which has some added features which, while they may come in handy, are not really overly critical. Uh, it's things like a dust blower, a light, a shoe, a plastic covering for the shoe, things like that. What I would really like to see though is a better support for the, the blade here. The guide here on this one is not really sufficient to make accurate 90 degree cuts. It also means if you're making a tight radius turn, sometimes the blade will pop out of that guide and then you lose all control of the cut. Therefore, if you're just using this for kind of general construction work, I think it's more than sufficient. It has plenty of power. Don't worry that it's only a five and a half amp uh, motor. That's plenty for anything you want to cut. If you're just using it for general work, it's going to be more than enough than what you need. However, if you're doing a lot of fine work where you're really concerned that those cuts are perfectly 90 degrees, or where you're making a lot of tight radius turns where if the blade pops out of the guide, it'll ruin your piece, this wouldn't be my first choice of a jigsaw. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd love to have you subscribe. I try to post a new tool video every two weeks or so.